Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Shadows Over Loathing. I'm the Booster 2, and I probably should have had my timer up for this. Ow! Cat is attacking my hand. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Shadows Over Loathing, and uh, we're here at the house full of uh, wormholes. Ow, I'm being chewed on now. Did I get the key? I did. Okay. Slagmine on your chin, this is your chance. Thankfully, this toilet only has the normal kind of toilet holes. Or, hole, the normal kind of holes toilet usually, toilets usually have. Ugh. I always miss this, this one, which is why I haven't gotten the uh, achievement for... Uh, uh, what's it? Flushing all the toilets. Mobius pipe. Endless torrent of sewage flowing forever, ever draining. Never draining. Never ending. The box appears to be labeled in an arcane script, possibly Elder Shinord. Oh wait, no, it's just upside down. Scared of something outside, the curtains were just too expensive. Grab the last few remaining items. Got an item, Berlitz's finest tooth wax, wax, and a gauze pad. The toilet is so broken that it's been disconnected from the plumbing. Splashing water on my face. Ah, a hand injury is gone. Aha! The meteorite. Usually pick up the piece of space to bring. Keep it carefully in the darkest part of your inventory. Mm. 
I feel like I missed something. God, the kitchen's on the second floor. Why is the kitchen on the second floor? Huh. What a strange choice to put the bathroom on the ground floor. Shouldn't it be in the next to the primary bedroom? I don't know where I like it. I don't actually like it. I think it's rubbish. That's strange that these rooms didn't adjoin, adjoin before. No the oddity. Certainly a strange choice. upside down. Could be an Australian model. There's a new telegram. Come on, do not abandon your house. Stop. Stay on the property ladder. Stop. This direct order from your Papa Stop, aka the main Mulross. Ouch. I am missing something. There's a bedroom I have not been able to reach. I know this to be true. Damn it, that was the bedroom. I have to get there. Remember how? Ah, 
Ah, here we are. I'll just try to get the bed with the pillow. Bookcase contains one copy of Marcus Aurelius and 93 more copies of Marcus Hilarious. You're surprised the bookcase hasn't been pulled into the wormhole next to it. Where would it end up? There's a letter taped to the desk. A letter of little honest. If you are the outer space men who blessed this family with your meteorite present, please know that we did not abandon it lightly. We will forever be grateful for the gift of your abundance, good spaceman, but as our uh, crops have grown, so too, has, so too has our dog, Clifford. He is too large even for the house, so we have decided as a family to find a bigger home. I hope you understand. I also hope you could send a letter for me that I did not have time to take to the post office. I left it in my pillow. Thank you, spaceman. Best wishes, on it. Little on us. Well, all right then. Ulrus letter. I'm under the bed a little honest. Dear Mary, as I warned it might happen at our last Cornfield rendezvous, Clifford's become too big for the house. Rather than surrender him to the pound, we must all get... We're all going to live in the ocean. Therefore, we must pause our relationship. I know it's not the first time you've heard this excuse from a suitor, and I hope that this does not damage your capacity for trust. I have asked an outer spaceman to deliver you this letter. If he gives you any trouble, I have left my weapons in... Mars, I'll hear it. Yours, little aunt. Little aunt implied one of his... his uh, this is hollowed out and concealed a weapon. It's a huge brick. It appears that all the books are hollowed out and contain a huge brick. Look at the bricks. Remove the bricks from the books. Like I didn't actually need to do that. Didn't actually get me anything, but you know, it's what. Why did I fall? Hello. Hello again. I hope you've surveyed for you. He's an enter here to accept my offer. Certainly not hopeful, just a little disorganized. But disorganization is born one of some of the great discords. Werewolves, for instance. Werewolves? Exactly. Werewolves. If we were organized, we would know where the wolves are, and we have no reason to fear them. Do you see my point? No. Well, then I've done all I, all I've done all I could do. How is Swiss cheese with wormholes? I don't think you're 100% correct on your observation. To my eyes, those wolves couldn't have been made by a worm. Well, I found your problem. It's every day we don't believe in problems, only opportunities, but go on. I have the meteorite. The worm holes are gone. Joyous news. Now I can. Now the real work can begin. If you can spare the time, I'll be back in a mo mere moment with my evaluation. I'll wait. Whip, ski, huff. The sounds of surveying fill the air. And then, my goodness, I was right about this being horror house, but not in the way I first thought. A kitchen on the upper floor with a dining room downstairs, sandwiched between a bathroom and a bedroom. The living room adjacent to the primary bedroom, both connected only by a narrow hallway that requires you to pass through a bathroom. Ma'am, this aesthetic is the most extreme disorder. The house is rotten to its core. I would have valued it at 2,000 meat, but the telephone is inoperable, so let's knock it down to 1990. That means 199 meat for you as per our deal. You know, the layout is actually better with the wormholes. How so? All the bathrooms are upstairs, as you expect. You're right. I remember that from my initial inspection. Look, with a sensible layout, the house could easily go for 5,000 meat. I think buyers would put up with the nauseating holes in fabric reality, but not having to walk through a bathroom to get to their dining room. Uh, that house could sell for 500. 5,500 meat. 
to save 500... 5,700. Uh, okay. Good. Of course, I need the meteorite to restore the house in order. I think I said she doesn't need the whole meteorite. Yeah, it's yours, bud. Sir, you pays the uh, greed and hand, you hand over the meteorite, which pulses otherworldly energy. And all he holds it aloft. Never I have his face. What is it? What does it do? Bye. Yoink. Got the most meteorite shard. Ew, it's wet. Ray the heavens, or the bugs on land. So praise the bug. Who is to say the value of a bug? Me, I can say. The bug is worth 100 million meat. If the bug on the land, it's worth about 100 million meat and doesn't even know it. A noodle in a haystack. Well, all right then. I think that's everything here. Nice stuff for latest mob payments. Duh. Well, I would love my mob payment. Box on your touch shelf, frightening all the other touch touch skis. I guess. Let's look at it. Increasing my spook armor. The note reads: Blues, as expected, your performance continues to be admirable. We will contact you with your final mission per per parametrics. Final. That sounds ominous. Check the message pod next to the phone. There's a note. Call Don T with a phone number. Call the mob. Back the mob. Don told the locating. Hey, Don's me. Ah, uh, ah, excellent, and excellent T, excellent payment. I don't know. I right, one final assignment for you. Final. Out of this year, prospectors and qualifications within our organization will have been proven to, be, to the utmost degree. You succeed here, you will be herewith promoted to the rank of something or other, and no longer subject to my various request requestations. Wow, okay then. What's the assignment? To assassinify the leader of the Ocean City these vampire Coter. Gosh. At this moment, Baron Ulrich T. Muscat is visiting his favorite leisure establishment, which is location wise on the boardwalk of our very own Ocean City. Our information gathering is experts have determined the password is Masquerade. Deal with him via any methodology suitable to your preferences, providing that the creature is thoroughly destructificated and you acquire his gold fang as evidence. Okay, then what? Once your mission is successfully reached a once your mission has reached a successful conclusion, we will be in touch directly. May you be best with fortuitous happenstance moves. Thank you. Let's go kill us a vampire. You pass by the entrance to a dark alley and several shadow spiders scuttle out and attack you. I'm not sure which is more horrifying, being attacked by weird shadow spiders or the fact that they've spread this far from where you originally encountered them. It's definitely the first one. Okay, I'll take your word for it.
on, it seems a little weird that your regular physical weapons can damage these weird shadow creatures, but hey, why argue with success? A grouchy looking guy is standing under the shade of this tiny building's eave. It's a masquerade. He stands aside and gestures suddenly at the door. Trunk contains various items lost by various his vampires. Find and keep some. Skull cane, shredded vampire pants, and a uh, basically stuff we've already seen. Bacon stone. Uh huh. Scavarous ring. Just me immune, immune to bleeding. Vampire! There's hate mirrors! Not just because we're not in them. They are... They offend our sensibilities. Shy, pretty high shadow taint in order to uh, actually do anything other than uh, seal these things off. The door says fiends. That's me. What is this music? I like it, but I don't know what it is. Some hobo graffiti, uh, hobo code among the graffiti. Translate. Whatever you do, don't order the special. Now I'm just gonna order the special. It's just letting this go to waste. This place is hot and cold running blood. Consider this. I faint at the sight of blood. You remember that you're scared of blood, which causes your brain to remove all the blood from your eyes so that you won't see it or anything else. Spooky armor and 5 plus maximum HP. Let's see. This toilet is pristine. It looks like it has never been used. There's a gun down in there. Maybe if you equip a fishing pole, you can snag it. Ah, the old toilet pistol. We meet again. Bartender gives you a chilling look. How'd you get in? You're no vampire. Oh, uh, no, I am. I'm just new. Fangs haven't grown in yet. Mm, well, since you got passed out, though, I suppose that's good enough for me. I'll have the special. He nods and mixes you a cocktail that appears to be made of equal parts blood and nothing. Blood omen. Imagine one of those fun cocktails with dry ice in it, except instead of rum, it's made of blood, and instead of carbon dioxide fog bubbling out of it, it's black nothingness. It will definitely get you wrecked, though maybe not in the sense you were hoping. Ooh. This elaborate collared vampire sips languidly from his glass, projecting an air of n smug nobility. That, I presume? Well, presumptuous, aren't you? Indeed, I am Baron de Monsieur, and you are? I am Lady Camilla von Bar Barovich. He doesn't give it. A pleasure to see it is a pleasure to meet me. What is your business? Hmm, there are too many vampires in here to just attack. I'm just gonna take a subtle touch. Excuse me for a moment. I'll give you a subtle touch. You get a firm grip on the window, take a deep breath, grit your teeth, and heave. 
the sash tears free of its various locks and adhesives and slams upward, allowing the room to fill with brightly white sunlight. Let's ignore the fact that it's been gloomy, been a gloomy overcast all week. All the vampires inside the bar, Baron Ikdetithe included, scream and burst into flames, quickly disintegrating into little piles of ash. Take his fang. You hear someone clapping and turn to see a man in an expensive suit leaning against a nearby lamppost, flanked by two burly goons. Even if you didn't reckon that's from your bedroom three days ago, you'd know him as soon as he opened his mouth. A marvelous outcome, Blues. Truly marvelous. You have accomplished the task at hand with finesse and aplomb and equal measurement. Hi, Don. You can't Don to the Baron's gold fang, and he examines it briefly before tucking it away in his jacket pocket. He snaps his fingers and the two goons pat their pockets, becoming more and more flustered until one of them finds what he's looking for and hands it to Don with a sigh of relief. Don looks at them as askance, then rolls his eyes and hands you the object. A small black velvet ring box, which proves to contain a gold signet ring. The crest on it appears to be a silhouette of a penguin. A solid gold signet ring with a silhouette of a penguin engraved on it. Friendly mob guy will aid you in combat. What's this? This, my newly promoted comrade, yes, is the seal of our ball. Ring identification. Is you as the paragon within the organization with all privileges therein to which you are hereby entitled. Wow, like what? The details of your specific role, salary, and etc. are still to be determined. And you will be contacted in a week or so with further information. In the meantime, how so wear this ring and this wing will get to you the aid of one of our operatives. Whenever you find yourselves embroiled in an altercation with either melee or gun wise, shake his hand. Welcome to the family, Blues Traveler. It'll be an honor and privilege both to be working with you in the future. Well, gosh, Don, I don't know what to say. Thanks. Don Tilbrough and the two goons sing a spirited verse of For She's a good, Jolly Good Fellow, then tip their hats and saunter away. Ah, shucks. Have I done this? Hey, it's a rising star. Uh. Are my stats? Uh, uh, I need more mysticality in order. To get. I'm not sure we got something that can do that. Look at my silly little hat. You carefully weigh one of the beast balls in your hand while stretching the knuckles on the the other and scanning the page of dense. Skerillic characters. Then you take a deep breath and make a fist. My heart disagrees, but whatever I'll drink with you. Whatever I'll drink with you. Quack, 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 ricochet. I don't know. I want to brawl. Punch, quack. Bravo! Not the usual way that the last business is translated, but I'll take it. And in return, give you this. A wind-up monkey. Dang it, this is the, your least favorite kind of monkey. The big thing is to get your uh, mysticality up to, uh, not mysticality, everything up to 15. In order to do that, you make, need to make sure you don't use the hot bath in the junkyard until the final day. You may need to get yourself into a fight and injured because some been defeated because sometimes you'll get a boost and you might get it to just the thing you need. And if you do, oh if you do, you get a goldfish. The goldfish increases everyone's stats by three each time it's it's its turn. It's amazingly powerful. Like, insanely so. Here's your milk. Hello again, darling. By any chance, do you find that glass of milk for me yet? It's very important to me. Yep, here it is. Oh, darling, I knew we could count on you. Let me give you your reward. 
She stands up and plants a slow kiss on your cheek, then chuckles as you start to blush. I could really use a drink. Huh? What about the milk? Oh, I mean a real drink. This milk is for later. Thanks again, sweetheart. Oh, I would twist nothing. Get my paperweight back from Akilika yet? Why'd you say it like that? No reason. Got it right here. Ah, good. She slides the paperweight onto her hand and smacks it against her left palm a couple of times. Missed the feeling. Thanks. Don't mention it. That takes me back. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, any, any luck with that sack of fertilizer? Yep. Oh, perfect. That'll this will be plenty. Thanks for your help. Sure, no problem. He wheels over to the back door and knocks on it in an elaborate pattern. You hear the click of the door being unlocked, then turns to the chess table. Probably ought to get back to my garden, but maybe just one more game first. Still got plenty of time. Well, good luck. Hey there, you bagged that engine for me yet? Yep, got it right here. Hey, fantastic. Thanks a million, kid. I can't wait to get this baby installed. Nice. Been by Morris' place yet? I don't need the old mirror, by the way. I'm no space hog. Just asking for a little piece. And a little piece is what I've got. Well, Sarklusa whistles. Humbling, ain't it? To hold the hand, soil of heaven in your hand? Wow. Increase your mysticality by your moxie. Saw that, by the way. I reckon there's not a jail on earth that can hold me. Do yourself a favor and figure out how it works. My way of saying thanks. Well, I guess you're welcome. You enter the darkened room. A man is standing behind it as pouring over a messy array of books and maps. He looks up and glares at you as you enter. Who the devil are you? Hi, I'm a uh, blues traveler. Okay, but the implied second half of that question was what the hell are you doing to my office? I don't actually know, but the people outside let me in. Well, if they vetted for you, you must be okay. Name's Jasper. You signed it on to help with our mission? What mission is that? We're blowing up Heldstrom's oil refinery, that's what. Oh, wow. Must be Jasper's cat. What's your cat's name? Abby Abby. Why'd you say your name? Why'd you name her twice? Because I don't let a society tell me what to do. Gotcha. Alright, we're gonna call it a video here. I'm the Blues32. This is. Uh, Shadows Over Loathing. TTFN. Ta ta for now.